Me, I'm super fly, super duper fly, super duper fly. Me, I'm super fly, super duper fly. We say some people have an eye for design, but Ron Norsworthy is notable for all the places he casts his talented gaze, including that music video by Missy Elliott. He's designed buildings and been an art director and production designer for influential music videos, even movies. And he created stylish products for the home. I met up with him and learned how his biggest creative project might be his own ever-changing career. Wow, you took over the entire space. Yeah, here. it's a site-specific work. Ron Norsworthy has a track record of making art that pops from the canvas to the flat screen. A mastermind is both director and set designer of some of pop culture's most influential moments. As I look back on my contribution to these sort of iconic videos, part of the reason that they worked was my point of view was very different. I didn't come from the hip-hop community. I was a fan, but I wasn't an insider. Rather, he learned to wear the role of outsider. Growing up in the Midwest, he attended eight schools by the age of 18, often the only person of color struggling to make connections and be seen. I knew I wasn't like everybody else. I knew I needed to start imagining worlds that I fit in. Princeton wasn't easy either. After graduation, he found his footing working as the youngest architect at a prominent firm. Months later, he was laid off. Could you have just gotten another job at another firm? Yeah, so. But what happened? Architecture was starting to feel like it had limitations okay. for me. I went to visit lots of sets while I was still working for Michael Graves Architect. And I saw myself there Something just clicked. I remember writing in my journal, if I work in music videos, I can make $125 a day as a PA. If I work this many days, I can pay my rent. And of course, I had a friend, but I had to ask her. That was one of those times where I was like, I know I can do it, just give me a chance. And she believed you. And she said yes. And we also co-wrote the concept for Let's Talk About Sex, too. He had arrived, even featuring himself in the video. The salt and pepper hit was the first of many for Norsworthy. He would go on to work as assistant art director on Spike Lee's Crooklyn and associate art director for the Hughes Brothers' Dead Presidents. His vision was essential in hip-hop sensation Missy Elliott's first ever music video, The Rain. I brought more of a pop sensibility. I brought more of a queer sensibility. There's an absurdity to the sets that I made. They were very powerful. Norsworthy began to specialize in building sets for performers like Destiny's Child on MTV's TRL, or this unforgettable cake for Madonna at the VMAs. He was intentional about allying with other voices, working with mostly women, and behind the scenes ensuring that his staff received equal pay. But he needed to do more. There was less and less time to be the artist that I imagined that I wanted to be. So you were really struggling to hold on to your real identity. As a queer black man, again, I'm still in spaces that I'm the only one. Even on hip hop music videos, that wasn't necessarily the safest space for me either. He found solace in making the groundbreaking artwork Reparation Tower, an interactive rendering of condos in Harlem, New York. The work brought into question topics of equality and gentrification. If you chose the colored entrance, you got a plexiglass enclosure, like you find at liquor stores in Harlem. Mm. You can see it, but you can't have access. A lot of people having experienced the success with music videos and set design would be very, very happy to stay in that space. Yes, Michelle, but I think that I just know myself. I know who I am, and I know what I can do. And you had moved beyond that? And I had moved beyond all of it. And so he did, building a multidisciplinary design firm. The Norsworthy Fund was about a fund of ideas. I was going to fund your project with my creativity, trying to get back to being the master of my destiny. Art had to be the center. It had to be the center. Designing rooms for celebrities like Tyra Banks and runways for Fashion Week. 
leading him to become the first African-American man to sell his own designs on QVC UK. The new posh turns dressing your bed into an art form. Oh, so you, what, silk screen? It, it's, um, it's silk, it's screened, yeah. And so my process is about mixing. I can take things that are from one context, uncouple them, and give them new meaning. They're hyper-visible. Today, he's more of a conventional artist with a twist. From candles and wallpaper to collages like the photo of Wheezy and George Jefferson in the bedroom of Thomas Jefferson. What is it with the blurred faces? So that is a way of kind of being influenced by that oral tradition of telling a story over and over again. If you notice, the architecture is a little bit disorienting uh -huh. in each of these works. And I wanted to somehow convey our culture's disorientation with the telling of American history. Mm. I don't know why you're <laughs> so much faster than me. He continues this work at Darn Studios, his practice with his husband, David. And with the orange, I think it looks yeah. great. Quilting matchbooks made with a numeric code for the names and dates of police brutality victims. Simultaneously, we're talking about how the killing of brown and black people was happening at such a rate we weren't remembering everybody. For a creative who's been in a lot of spaces, he's certainly found his place in every one of them. I realized I was never going to belong anywhere until I belonged in comfortable in my own skin first. What would the world be like if people felt comfortable in their, in own, their own skin? skin? I mean, we wouldn't have a lot of the issues that we're dealing with. That message of feeling comfortable in your own skin, belonging to yourself first, is a very kind of instructive message for how we could live our lives better. He kind of blew me away. I mean, there isn't any aspect of the artistic creative that isn't in him. He's got a mural that will be in the new Newark uh, International Airport at the United Terminal. He's got a board game coming out wow. uh, that was funded by the Andy Warhol Foundation. Wow. And oh, by the way, that is all visual, right? He, he even has like our sense of smell that he's about to engage with some new some new sets of candles that he hopes to to uh, put on, on the market. I love that he wants to explore all those areas because his creativity in each space is different and brings something different, which welcomes everybody else in. It's really it, it amazing. It can add something in all those <laughs> yeah, areas. Yeah, right? exactly right.